to share a couple of things with you. One of them is kind of an idea that I have as inspiration, and the other one is actually a more personal thing that I found within the past year that I thought I would share with you because it, well, I'll explain that one in a little bit. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, sassy girl? Yeah, I'm doing well. Don't you love me? Love me. Your tail is stuck. There you go. Tail's not stuck anymore. Yay. So, happy Saturday. It's been kind of a lazy morning. Um, literally slept most of the morning. And watched a little bit of YouTube. Still catching up on YouTube videos. Um... And my brother's getting ready, and we're going to be going to something called Cops for Donut Shops. It's a fundraiser for Special Olympics, where Special Olympics athletes can go and, like, give cops donuts and, get their aut and give autographs and stuff like that. My brother's a Special Olympics athlete, so we're going for that. And I figured, I'm like, you know, while I'm on it, why not go ahead and just apply to work at Krispy Kreme? Because why not? I mean... I could work a cash register. I could learn. And making donuts sounds fun. So, that's what I'm doing. And while I'm on, I was like, you know, let me edit the vlog. Well, there's Loki's very beautiful face. Why not edit the vlog in the meantime so I can have that done and over with? So, that's my plan for the morning right now. So, I just want to check in and tell you guys good morning. And I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys. There's Sassy sleeping. There's MRL sleeping. Riddler was sleeping, now he woke up. Oh, look at that tired face. He's so cute. <laughs> you want to go back to sleep, buddy? <laughs> face is so funny. Oh, it doesn't take much to make me laugh. So, the cops on top of donut, donut shops thing was a success. Raised a lot of money for Special Olympics. Woohoo! And then Tyler and I had a late lunch at Panda. Then we went to the mall and looked around and Battlegrounds. I was kind of annoyed with my brain. Like, I got some money, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. Which is not something that I normally allow myself to do. Is to, like, buy an item to treat myself with. Well, every store I went to that I was considering either did not have a product I liked, and then once I found something that I was like, ooh, this isn't bad, then brain was immediately like, you can't afford this, this is too expensive. And even if you did buy this, you wouldn't have enough money. Blah, 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 blah. And then my head got really lightheaded and dizzy from like scanning over items and like looking at prices and seeing something that I would want and I didn't. Um, I really wanted to take part in this sale that was like a buy three, get three free, but I only found one item I liked. And the other, only other thing that I liked was not part of the promotion, so I was like, ugh. So, anxiety does that to me a lot whenever I'm shopping. It's to overanalyze everything, especially prices. Let's be like, are you sure you want it? Are you sure? Are you sure? You shouldn't spend the money on it. You know, that's stupid. I'm like, ugh. But, I mean, I do have a fidget cube and a phone case on its way. Won't be for a couple of weeks, though, which kind of sucks. And then I'm talking with someone on Instagram. I want to get a service dog collar for MRL for when we go out so that he looks a little more professional. Although that whale collar is really freaking adorable. His gear is red and black. Well, I mean, there's the blue thing, too, and the Kylo Ren bandana would totally match with that, now that I'm thinking about it. So, and the service dog collar is red. I mean, he's not a service dog yet, but it would make him look more professional. So, we'll see about that. I'm trying to get hold of the girl again. And I know that this group on Facebook called Puppy Pot, they make, basically, care packages for service dogs. 
and service dogs in training includes like if I remember right, a bandana, treats, a toy, and a treat for the owner, which I'm excited about. And they finally finished filling out their orders yesterday, and I saw MRLs was among the group. And all I know right now is that his bandana will be turquoise, because that's my favorite color, with black writing. That will say service dog in training. That's what I asked for. Anything else, I have no clue. The only things I asked were no chocolate for me and no beef, because... We don't feed our dogs beef because Riddler's allergic to it. And I know Sassy's not. I don't know if MRL is. I mean, at the worst, it would cause him to break out into a rash, but we feel it's better just to not feed him beef anyway. Our dogs get mainly, their dog food is chicken. They'll eat peanut butter. Though there's a brand of dog treats we can't give them anymore because that's peanut butter flavor because it makes them really sick. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, 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 hi. And of course, they'll eat deer. They love the deer jerky a lot, and it hasn't messed with their stomachs, so great. But right now, I am waiting for my vlog to upload. Hooray! I forgot to shoot an ending for it last night. Of course I did. And I'm going through my watch later list. I just finished watching Jacksepticeye with Bob Wade and Mark playing Uno. That was a 30-minute video, but it was so hilarious, so I don't mind at all. So now I'm just going to continue watching YouTube and waiting for my video to upload to YouTube. And I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys. There's Sassy Girl on the floor. MRL's out in the hall. <whistles> MRL, come. MRL, come. <whistles> what are you doing? What are you doing? Come here! <gasps> Emerel, come here! Hi! Hello! Hello! Be nice to her! Get off of her! <laughs> hey, buddy. And... Is Dad a Riddler coming in? It is! Hooray! Now everybody's in. Just in time for the storm that's going on outside. So, let's see. I got the vlog up, and then for a while all I did was just lay in bed. I was feeling really crappy a while ago. Um, because I was looking at jobs to apply for jobs, and then I just felt really discouraged. I had three applications that I was about to do, and then I was just like, forget this. And I... Turned off my computer and then just kind of went and laid down. I just got really, really discouraged. Because most of the jobs I've applied for so far, I've either been rejected from or I've not heard anything yet. Only one I've heard of something about and it was from the zoo, but I haven't gotten anything official yet. So it makes me concerned. Um, a lot of Petco jobs have denied me and I'm thinking it's because of my degree. Um, apparently, they don't want to hire on someone who has a bachelor's degree. Oh well. Um, and it's just really discouraging because I'm feeling the pressure of needing to get a part-time job. But, I mean, what can I do? My dad and I discussed it last night and he was saying, oh, don't be choosy. If you try to be selective with the jobs you want, then, you know, that's going to take forever. But it's like, I don't want to be in a job that I will be miserable in. So, like, I mean, I don't want to work in the carpet mills. That's, no, I just don't want to. But, I'm trying. It's really discouraging right now. I've been unemployed for a while, and it makes me sad. But, I mean, what else can I do? In the meantime, I got my dogs. This one's trying to find the deer jerky that's inside that box. But you can't get it right now. No. I didn't say you could have the deer jerky. MRL's playing with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Sassy's on the couch. And hopefully in the next little bit, Jessica and I can watch some Yuri on Ice. So, that's what's going on this evening. Hey guys! There Miss Sassy on the couch. Oopsie. And it's storming outside. So, whoopsie. I kind of threw you guys out. Oh, there's the wimes, but I'll get to them in a second. 
So as you guys know, whenever you're usually in this setting with me, with Darth Vader beside me, it usually means I'm going to share something with you that's a little bit long. Um, I decided to share a couple of things with you. One of them is kind of an idea that I have, has inspiration, and the other one is actually a more personal thing that I found within the past year that I thought I would share with you because it, well, I'll explain that one in a little bit. So, something that I've considered doing is making a service dog inspiration board. I know people have inspiration boards, but I have things, well, I have, like, stuff from some wonderful service dog handlers. And I thought about this because I have ordered the Ollie Boy print from the Fry Life. And I was like, you know what? Why not make an inspiration board about, like, with all the stuff, things that I got from handlers. Of course, obviously paper products. I cannot put a vest in an inspiration board. Well, I could if I wanted to, but not the point. So, I thought I only had two things currently. Turns out I have four. And I thought I would kind of share with you. I have this postcard from Grey Dogs Designs on Instagram. I'm not going to give you her real name. She was she's the reason I have the black leather leash. I won her giveaway a while back. Does this have a date? No. But she said all the best to you and future dog you can do it. This was before I even knew MRL was going to happen. This is when I was still thinking that it, he was going to be a greyhound. So that's wonderful. The next thing is a Christmas card from one of my favorite handlers, Service Roddy, on Instagram. So Stacy and Riddick. I won't show you what she wrote, but there's Riddick's paw print. And I love these guys. The third is the ADA Law card that I got from Caitlin Hux on Instagram. She gave me my vest. And I thought that this was a good reminder from her. And of course, the last thing, which I won't completely read to you, is the note from The Pack Life. A.K.A. Days at a Time, Kaylee, whatever you know her as. She gave me the Gentle Leader. And she and I, I think we've gotten to be at least at a good friend level. She has been so helpful and inspirational to me. She has helped me through a bunch of, like, confidence things regarding me and training MRL. And, of course, this is all full of, like, inspiration and encouragement but one of my more favorite things about this, let me see if I can get this close enough, is that, that she had to write that it was her. It was funny. I loved it. So, all of these things will eventually go on like an inspiration board, and I would love to do that. The second thing I want to show you guys, so, when I got home from college, after graduating, this was in January, you know that I was cleaning my room. Which was huge, because my room is usually pretty messy, but now I've been keeping it very clean, so yay! Um, and while I was looking through old college stuff, I happened to find this book. Now, it's not completely filled. This is a blank book that I got from Earthbound, but this book has special meaning. This was kind of an anxiety journal slash a tool I used in therapy when I was with Dr. Bogus. And I kind of wanted to share with you guys what is in here. Um, because I thought it would be helpful, you know, for you guys, you know, if you feel like this way, kind of like I did. I mean, I won't give you every single detail that's in here, but I thought you'd like to know some of it. So first, I have just a journal entry where I'm flipping out over making a mistake. And then, it's interesting because the last few sentences in this first entry is what really sticks out to me. I know that mistakes are normal and human, but I can't help feeling that my mistakes are not normal. I am better than this. I know better. My memory should, sh should serve me better than this. Why am I such an idiot? Why? And you know, it's crazy. We know that... It's completely normal to make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. And, you know, that's life. But our anxiety makes us feel like we have to be perfect. 
at everything or else we fail. Well, let's see. This next journal entry, I was trying to figure out the, like, whether my physical symptoms were anxiety related or actually some kind of other cause. And it's funny because at that time, I was worried more about getting headaches and fidgeting with my feet more often. Nowadays, my main concerns are, of course, a lot of chest tightness and more pain than normal, and um, the lightheaded dizzy thing. Okay, this next one was a, not a, an assignment that I got from Dr. Bogus, where I had to list my stressors, and then for each stressor, I had to answer three questions. Why is it a stressor? What's the worst thing that could happen? And what's the best thing that can happen? I'll list you guys all of my stressors, because I feel like a lot of you will relate. But I won't read you all of the questions for them. I'll probably just, like, read you off one of them as an example. So the stressors I had were time, others looking over my work, others being angry, people looking at me in public, compliments, uncompleted lists, exams, Changes that affect me, like schedule changes, test date changes, and calling people on the phone. Those are things I hate doing. So I'll read you one of my examples of the questions. So the first one I've listed is time. So why time is a stressor? I worry about being late or not getting something done in time. This is true. Worst thing that can happen, I or the thing to do will be late and I will get in trouble for it. Best thing that can happen, I or the thing to do will be on time. That's just an example of it. I had to answer those three questions for all of that, and as you heard, I had a crap ton of stressors, so there you go. And then I had to do what was called a trauma egg, which basically you draw an egg and then you list out traumatic events that were in your life. So I have the list of thoughts for that, but I'm not going to go into that. And the last thing I have written here was actually a letter to my anxiety that I never completed but I thought I would share with you guys. This was written April 3rd of last year. Interesting. Dear Anxiety, let's be blunt here. What the crap? What is with you? You are trying to take complete control of my life and I cannot stand it. I am constantly obsessing over talking too much about you and it is getting to where I don't want to talk about you to even my best friends in fear of this worry. You sap every drop of physical, emotional, and mental energy that I have and constantly leave me exhausted. I am writing this letter to you to say that enough is enough. I am tired of you. I am tired of how you make me feel about myself. I have low self-esteem, low self-confidence, and I constantly feel like I am a burden to those I love. Even now, while I am texting one of my best friends, you are trying to convince me that he does not care about me when I know that he does. And I never finished the letter. So, that was when my anxiety was really, like, at one of its peak times of being the worst. Um, I might have said this to you guys before, I don't remember, but I started getting more anxiety symptoms my freshman year of college. And by junior year, it had gotten to its peak of the worst. So, this was about my senior year. But, I mean, it was still pretty bad. Um, but a lot of this is still relevant today, unfortunately. Because... Anxiety, mental illness, equals chronic illness, which sucks, but it's a thing. Um, I had to pop my ears for a second. Like, it does sap so much energy out of you. Like, I am constantly feeling tired. Because even if I don't feel like I'm anxious about something, or I don't feel like there's, like, I'm not feeling like I'm overthinking or something, my brain is still going about a million miles an hour. Um... The low self-esteem, low self-confidence, unfortunately, that's a thing that is still a good, big part of my life, whether people see it or not. Um, again, I, have, I still have days where I feel like I'm a burden to everybody I care about. Some days, I don't feel that way. Some days, I do. So, but ultimately, the one thing that's say the same about anxiety is, what the crap? So... Yeah, those are, those are my thoughts. 
from my therapy sessions with Dr. Bogus, and of course my inspiration stuff. And if you guys want to, I have like worksheets and stuff that I got from my therapy sessions with Miss Sutton. And give me a thumbs up if you guys would like me to read over those. Those are nowhere near as personal as what these were. Um, they're more like worksheets, but if you guys are interested, like, if you want an idea of what therapy can be like for someone with anxiety, you know, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Hey, guys. So there's all three of my babies looking so tired. Oh, fun fact about the wines. I don't know if all dogs do this, but it's so freaking weird. Like, when they're going to sleep, their eye rolls back into the back corner, and they kind of look like freaky zombie dogs. Oh, look at that cute face. And look at that cute face. And that cute face. Okay, my dogs are just freaking adorable. I just want to point that out. So right now, I figured I'd go ahead and get today's vlog, at least, all rendered and ready to go, so tomorrow I could just upload it. Because it's going to take forever to upload, especially with the clip I just had, but I feel like that clip was important to share. And I really hope that you guys get some kind of benefit out of it. Um... Honestly, it doesn't bother me to share things that are really personal. Not as much as it used to. Like, for example, um, sometime last year I made a video about my experience with suicide. And it's interesting because about five years ago, I would refuse to talk about it. Like, I think all that happened when I was 14. And so, it took me until, it took me about four or five years before I would actually be willing to openly talk about it. Well, not being like, hi, my name's Raven, and I was suicidal once. But like, you know, if it comes up in conversation, being like, oh yeah, I know what that's like. So, I will be personal with you guys. And I mean, if you ever want to talk to me about anything, you can, I've got private messages everywhere. YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. You guys can talk to me. I, w I will be here for you. And that is a fact, Jack. Uh, I don't like quoting... Um, what is it called? Oh man, I used to watch this show all the time. Oh well, must not be important anymore. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day is, um, if you could give somebody, this is going to be kind of an interesting question, if you could give somebody one item that best represents you, what would it be and why? Um... That's even a hard one for me. <laughs> I mean, I... Maybe a camera, since I like to vlog with people. Or maybe, like, you could get, like, a can of those bouncy snakes. It has, like, several lids to it. I think that would work. Because it takes a while to really get to know me. And once you know me, it's like, Pachoo! so there we go. One of those bouncy can snake things. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, my little pack of wolves. I love you. <laughs>